What's up guys, my name is Mitchell Watts with Town & Country TV and today I'm here to show you the baddest wild track you've ever seen. Before we jump into the video, help us defeat the YouTube algorithm and smash that thumbs up button. But in this video, what we're going to do is give you a full walk around of the wild track itself, but also show you some of the things that TC Customs has done to actually customize this vehicle. By the way, uh, we do customize all makes and all models of vehicles. So whether it's a Jeep, a Bronco, whatever, give us a call. The phone number is right there on the screen if you want a quote for having some custom work done on your vehicle, no matter what kind of vehicle it is. But as I've already mentioned to you, this is a 2022 model. Ford Bronco Wild Track. Now, what's so cool about this, um, it being a 2022, you've got a couple of different hues that are different for the 2022. So, like you do have the unpainted mirror caps, where I believe last year's model they were painted, a couple of other small variations, things like that, that I'm not going to focus in on specifically. But one thing you'll notice is that the Bronco Wild Track does come with a piano black painted front grille. And what we've done with TC Customs, partnering up with CGS Vinyl in Pelham, Alabama who's, by the way, uh, you want to make sure you subscribe because in a very, very soon video, you're going to see my Bronco completely unveiled with a brand new wrap on it. I'm so excited to show you that. So make sure you subscribe with that bell notification turned on so you don't miss that video. But what CGS Vinyl did is they were able to lay down this completely matte black uh, wrap all over the vehicle. Now, this is not a paint protection film. This is literally just a color change wrap. But what I like about it is that it does provide a little bit of uh, of protection for you on the paint. Now, it's once again, it's not paint protection film, so it's not going to help you with these massive rocks that might be coming at you, but it's better than just your bare paint. So pretty cool stuff there. Now, what we also did is we did a uh, ceramic coating on top of the entire PP or PPF, the entire wrap on the vehicle. So the idea there is it's supposed to be hydrophobic. So that way, if water gets on or like, you know, watery mud gets on, it's supposed to run down it instead of actually getting cooked onto the vinyl wrap itself. But let's take a look at the wheels, the tires, and the suspension. Let's come on this side since we've got the, the sun is kind of coming out this direction. What you've got is a set of 37-inch BFG ATKO2 tires wrapped around a set of KMC wheels. They're 17-inch wheels. But one of the ways we were able to fit that size wheel and tire combination is based on this lift kit. This is a zone three-inch lift kit that is designed for uh, vehicles that are equipped with the Sasquatch package. And we do have those available for sale on our website. If you don't live close enough to have us install it, we can actually ship it directly to your door. I'll leave those links down for all the products that you can purchase online. I'll have that linked down below if that's something you want to uh, take a look at. Now, um, what is interesting to me, and, and I want to kind of give you guys a little bit of, um, I guess, context as, as to how tall this Bronco is. Um, just kind of taking a look at it there there is no there is no step bars there is no rock rails on this one uh the customer might actually by the way this is a sold vehicle so no it is not for sale um but the the thing about this particular bronco not having any rails you can see how difficult i'm six foot three and you can see like if i'm trying not to use anything to pull myself in i can do it but barely it's just something you need to realize that when you go to a 37 or, or what have you, that it's probably not a bad idea to look at that rock slide engineer power deployable step, but it also has the protection for the body. Once again, uh, we don't have uh, that installed on this particular kit, but it is pretty sweet to see. Um, let's do this. I want to take a look on the back side of the vehicle. Uh, we'll take a look in here before we jump into the actual vehicle itself. Uh, take a look at the painted Ford emblem. Uh, that is not wrapped. The, the emblem itself is actually painted to match the rest of the vehicle. So I, I think that turned out pretty sweet. Uh, but located right here, you've got your wild track badging that is relocated because of the vinyl wrap. Uh, but you do have the soft top located back here. Nothing a whole lot that you haven't seen in our videos already. So uh, that is something very interesting to note. I will show you this over here. That is going to be the hard top prep kit. I've had a lot of people ask me that are you know maybe just not completely up to speed on everything Bronco. What that is, is that is the wiring and the plumbing. So if you ever wanted to purchase a hard top from Ford after the fact, 
or if you go out and buy the advanced fiberglass concepts, they're doing the pre-orders right now on their website, not a sponsored or anything. It's just a good company that I've got their fenders on my truck. But if you buy that, that aftermarket hardtop, it's got everything pre-wired and pre-done so that way you can add that hardtop at a later date and time. So pretty sweet stuff there. Before we jump into the inside, I want to show you one of my favorite things about this build, and that is going to be the Addictive Desert Designs rear bumper. Now, the thing about these bumpers is is that you know from the factory you get it, it is technically a metal bumper on the bottom side but it's got some plastic pieces on the top but when you compare that to the modular front bumper in from the factory it just kind of looked weird having the ford oem bumper so what we did here this is an addictive desert designs rock fighter rear bumper and as you can see it actually relocates the sensors all the way through now i will tell you though that if you don't if you have somebody to install these and they don't know what they're doing, it can be a little bit finicky because you know, we actually had to do a couple of different trial runs to make sure that the sensors work out perfectly. We've got it tuned down perfectly, but you just want to, I'm not saying you have to buy the bumper or have us install it from our dealership or TC Customs, but just whoever you do get it installed, just make sure they know what they're doing because sensors can be, I mean, if it's a millimeter off, it's not gonna work properly. So it is a very cool little bumper that I absolutely love how much protection you get over here. And this thing is a very, very thick metal. Uh, you're gonna have a lot of protection and you've also got your hoop right here. So that way, if you need to uh, hook up, you know, the vehicle for, you know, recovery purposes, you have that ability located there. Now let's take a look at the inside. All right, so the inside of this Bronco is very unique in my opinion. One of the things you'll like about the Bronco Wild Track is that it does have the ability to go with either leather or with cloth, depending on how you option the vehicle. This one does have the Ford OEM leather, and as you can see that it's got the sandstone with a black interior, but it's also got a red stitching that matches the center console handle right here, and then also the handle over here, as well as the air conditioner vents. Now that we're in this particular area, I wanna show you something that a lot of people may not realize, a difference between a 21 and a 22 Bronco. So my Bronco is a 21 model, and over here, you have got these dual climate controls, right? And, and on a 21, it actually will tell you, as you dial this up, it will tell you what the temperature is on each one of these dials, which is kind of nice. What Ford has done to reduce the amount of microchips needed to produce a Bronco is they've taken it out of here and put it on the screen. So now you can still see each individual temperature, but it's gonna be located on the screen, not on the knob itself. So it's yet another way that Ford is trying to do everything they can to crank out as many Broncos as possible. And if they can remove these two items that might remove two or more microchips, that right there can actually help you make yet another Bronco. So I think it's pretty cool that Ford gave us that ability and kind of showed that to you. There's not a whole lot to talk about here on the inside of the wild track. So I do want to talk to you about these hero switches before we move on. You've got your hazards, you've got your traction control, trail turn assist, and because the wild track comes standard with the Sasquatch package, you have the lockers in the rear and in the front. But you'll notice that this button right here is missing. That is going to be your stabilizer bar disconnect, which is only found on a Badlands or if you have a 20 one model with the first edition. Now I will tell you though, since we're kind of talking about the suspension and things like that, um, is I want to bring up the, the whole topic of the wild track with the 3.0 Haas system. So they just announced it, Ford did, that uh, depending, if you have not already been selected for um, uh, for scheduling, meaning your, your wild track has not been built yet, you actually can opt for an option that has the wild track Haas 3.0 suspension system, which has Fox coilovers, uh, they may not be coilovers, but they're Fox dampers, and they've got the live valve technology and a lot of high, it's basically like a, a slightly detuned version of the Raptor's suspension system without those crazy looking fender flares that you get on the Raptor. It is really neat to see that Ford is changing options and giving us extra options as like a 22 and a half year model. So pretty cool stuff there. But yeah, let's take a look at the back seat and we can wrap it up from there. So in the back seat, you'll notice a couple things. Yeah, you've got the leather seats and you'll notice that this little center console with the cup holders, the only way to get that is with the leather seats. So that is one of the inherent benefits. If you want those cup holders here and not just in the doors, 
you need to make sure that you get that center console. But you also happen to have a Rough Country box here. That is going to be the uh, tuner that we, not tuner, the inline speedometer recalibration tool that we have to actually install behind the dashboard. So one of the things that a lot of people don't realize is like on an old school F1, I say old school, that's not even right, but 18 through a 20 model F-150, you can just plug in a tuner into the OBD port, recalibrate it, and you're good to go with a different tire size. On the Broncos, it basically anything 21 models and newer, you actually have to do an inline calibrator, meaning you have to take the dash out, you have to take the calibration tool, stick it between the instrument cluster and the vehicle, and it manually reprograms it that way. And so it's really interesting to note that like if you like, man, it's so much to, call, to recalibrate my speedometer, that's why is because you have to pull the whole dashboard out of a Bronco to do that. But it is something I highly recommend. And realistically, we won't even do um, a, a lift kit if we can't do that as well, because we need to make sure that the calibration is right at the time. We, we refuse to put out a vehicle that is not 100% well put together. Okay, so I might have lied to you again. We're going to cover underneath the hood, uh, but uh, doing all this talking has got me thirsty. So I've got my water, but there's another reason for that instead of me just drinking it off camera. I wanted to show you what that, that ceramic coating does. As you see, it literally just kind of beads right off and just rolls right off the hood. And when you compare that to something that isn't uh, actually done, let's just walk over here to this other Bronco. And uh, when you compare that to this one, the exact same thing, let's just see what it does. You can see that it still will run off, but you can see a lot more residue of that water that will keep on there. So like if you go through like a, a mud hole or whatever, it's not going to, it's gonna actually wanna stick on that hood a lot more than it will on a vehicle that has been ceramic coated. So it's interesting to see and just kind of see how that uh, actually works. And they've got a lot of different brands out there that does ceramic coating and things like that. I'm not here to tell you one is better than the other, but as you can see, it just kind of beads it all up and kind of keeps it from getting as crazy of water spots as you might think. Taking a look underneath the hood of the vehicle, if you're an OG Bronco fan, you know that a Wild Track has a 2.7 liter V6 twin turbocharged engine, and it makes a lot of horsepower and torque. Now, one thing I forgot to mention to you when we were looking at the rear Addictive Desert Designs rear bumper is that we also changed out the exhaust system. We swapped it over to the Magnaflow Overlander series exhaust, which is completely tunable, customizable, but the best thing is, is it's high clearance. It gets it up and out of the way, and it also sounds not too shabby when you're driving down the road. I've got that exact same exhaust system on my Bronco, and once again, if you want to purchase it, we can ship it to your lower 48 states anywhere in the lower 48 states and I'll have that linked down below as well. So that is it. That is our walk around on this 2022 Ford Bronco Wild Track. In my opinion, probably the baddest Wild Track that I have personally ever seen and I would even, I can't get a hood prop. There we go. <laughs> I can't even do a hood prop anymore. So as you can see, this is one of the baddest wild track Broncos that I have ever seen in person and probably even online as well. So guys, let me know down below uh, what you think about this particular build and a huge thanks to the customer that purchased it. He has asked to remain nameless, so we're not gonna name him specifically, but a huge, huge thank you to, uh, to you for buying this Bronco. And let us know and let him know down in the comments below, because he's gonna see this video, what do you think of his build? Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already done so, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with that bell notification turned on so you don't miss a single video. Peace.